Our first guest tonight is a very popular, very talented, and beautifully mustached man. He's a one-time sexiest man alive, two-time killmonger, and now a three-time heavyweight champion of the world. His directorial debut, Creed Three, opens in theaters Friday. Say hello to Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> You know what? I bet you. I bet women start screaming whenever you when you go like. I bet you women scream at you in the men's room. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a little weird, but yeah, yeah it would you know? be weird. But I feel like it would probably happen. If it's gonna happen to anybody, it's to you. <laughs> Do you ever feel scared? Like when, and I, when I don't mean in general, I mean like, do you ever feel like, oh no, there's too many screaming, excited people here. I'd better get out of this. A, a, little, a little bit. That's why I got my, my man Jarvis uh, security uh, okay. holding it down. But yeah, I think, you know, when you go certain places, it starts out like maybe one or two, and then the frenzy starts to happen. When people start to start pulling and, and screaming, it becomes a, a little much. Yeah, you know? right. And you I just go. I try to calm them down. Like, it's okay, breathe, breathe, everybody breathe. Ah, breathe, breathe. And that kind of buys me some time, and then I'm out of there. You ever just look up to the heavens and go, God, why did you make me so handsome? <laughs> <laughs> I blame my mom and dad. Your mom's yeah, in the audience tonight, she, right? She is, in she fact, is. not only is your mom here, yeah. <laughs> your mom, I, your mom and my mom are friends. I, and I just found that out today. I, I mean, you guys have been hiding the secret relationship for us for how long? <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say my mother has told me all about it, but you, yeah, you didn't know. I guess it was not as big a news in your house. It wasn't mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're friends. They're hanging out, I guess. They, they meet up at shows. They're going to see Corden later on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my brother sitting next to my mom. Oh, your brother's there, there too. Yeah, it is. Colleen. What's happening? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Look at that. Family affair. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. So is the whole family, I know you got the premiere across the street tonight. Is the whole family going to the premiere? It's the first time everybody's going to see it together, so I'm really, really excited to share it with them. It's a, it's a real personal movie, and uh, it means the world to me. So to get their opinion and see what they think about it is going to be a big Now, deal. do you welcome their opinions after the film? All of their opinions? <laughs> Yeah, for the most part, they, they'll give it to me straight. They, okay. they, yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll, they don't, um, they're not yes men at all. They'll, they'll tell me exactly what they think about it. Ha really? They'll pick the right time to tell me. I see. But they're always going to tell me the truth. Has your mother ever given you a bad review of anything you did? Oh, baby, we'll get them next time. Don't you worry. <laughs> you, uh, you stay off the internet now. Don't. Don't go on the internet now. You just, you just put your phone down for a couple days. Uh, thanks, Mom. I got you. I want to actually have a question for your mom. <laughs> Do you, when you're watching these fight scenes, do you get upset watching your son getting punched? And then we'll ask that of my mom as well. <laughs> it's definitely hard to watch. It's hard yeah, to watch? It's definitely hard to watch. You know? Wow. But yeah. The makeup people, they do a wonderful job. So they okay. have kind of come to terms that it's, it's, it's just acting. It's, no, it's not real. He's not oh. getting hurt. Oh, it's acting. I didn't realize that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep telling yourself yes, that. Yes, a little bit. This is, I mentioned, your uh, debut as a director. Yes, sir. Which is, <laughs> and I don't know if you look at this kind of stuff, but yeah. you know you're getting very good reviews. You got like 90% on Rotten Tomatoes right that's, now. That's an accomplishment. That's an exceptional yeah. number. It you is. look at that? Not all the time, but my publicist, they, 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 they manage my, my expectations and my emotions. So they'll, they'll show me a couple good, uh, good reviews every once in a while. But okay. I, but for the most part, I try not to stay, I try to stay out of it. Right, yeah, yeah. It's nicer to have somebody kind of go through those first. Just to make sure, you know. It seems like you're pretty safe if you go through them yourself. I think I'm pretty When good. you are directing something that you're acting in also, which seems very difficult, do you call other actor directors? Are there people that you can reach out to? to Get some guidance. Yeah, you know, I've been blessed to work with a lot of great filmmakers over the years. And, uh, and most recently, like, you know, Denzel Washington, you know, somebody that I spent a lot of time with and just watching, observing, and, you know, asking for advice, you know, Bradley Cooper, John Favreau. But, um, but, um, you, you know, call these guys and go, like, hey, tell me what I need to know. Yeah, I wanted to talk to actor directors, you uh -huh. know, who really, like, knew what it was going to be like from right. transitioning from in front of the camera to behind the camera. But, but one thing that Denzel always told me was, like, listen, you got a storyboard, storyboard, storyboard. And I'm like, storyboard, like, 
like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, no, I'm gonna get you a storyboard artist. And we were in the middle of rehearsal and he picks up his phone and he calls this guy and was like, hey, Warren, it's D. Yeah, yeah, so remember that kid I was telling you about? Yeah, well, uh, you know, he's gonna hire you. All right, cool, and he gives me a throw and I'm like, oh, thanks D, Thank, appreciate that. <laughs> so I immediately started pitching him the movie and that was my first storyboard artist that I got on Creed Three. so that was, a, that was an excellent. And point. was he right? Was that super important that when it came to? so crucial. Just yeah. the just shot list and really prepare, you know, what scenes are you gonna actually shoot and what shots that you actually need. Storyboards were, were, were a lifesaver for him. And you have like a comic book about the movie at the end of it, right? I saved all of them. You did, yeah, huh? yeah, I saved all of them, especially for the fights. You know what I'm saying? I saved all the storyboards that I have. I'm going to turn it into like a little collage on a, on a wall one day. But uh, yeah, it's memorabilia. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Do you save stuff like that? Are you one of those guys that keeps all this kind of stuff? I keep all the gloves, the shorts, the robe, you know what I mean? Certain li little things that mean, that mean something to a character, I'll, I'll keep it, yeah. You become like part of like being in these movies when they're super successful. You become kind of part of the boxing world, right? Definitely. Yeah. Like, I have a, a, like for the rest of your life. No, that's it. I mean, everybody's gonna come up to me like, you know, throwing the yeah, punch up, yeah. that's gonna be the thing. I used to see Sly do that all the time, and I, now I, I get it, you know? People are randomly coming up, smacking <laughs> off the table. I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to eat what's going on. Yeah, Adonis Creed, we meet again. I just met you. What are you talking about? But um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It's a big day. Oh, you have, is this what, the? how many premieres have you had for uh, Creed for three. Creed, one, yeah. we had uh, Mexico City, then we had Paris, we had London, we had Atlanta, we had wow. Sweden, and, and, and Chicago. This will be like the fifth or sixth uh, premiere that we've had so far. Are there more after this? We have one more in Japan. Okay. We got wow. one more in Japan, yeah, at the end of May. It's my first time going to Tokyo. I can't wait to go. Oh, you've never been there? Oh. Never been, man. Oh, that's going to be great. Be a good time. Dude, that will be weird to go there and have people know you in a, in a totally different country. Where... It's, it's going to be cool. I mean, I, I, in my mind, I've been in Japan like new numerous times just from my, my love of anime and just like on Instagram, you know, just kind of like being through that. But uh, I can't wait to go. Now, I hope this happens in Japan because down the block from us, uh, I don't know if you know, this what? billboard went up, just went up. <laughs> and this is, um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Calvin Klein. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's up right now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's like just right down the block from us. Uh, have you seen this in person yet? I have not. This is actually the first time I'm seeing it and, you know, just <laughs> first time I'm seeing it. Did they tell you which picture they were going to use for the billboards? Not that one. No. <laughs> they did, they, but, but it works. It, it works. almost looks like you're fl Superman style flying or swell. Oh, wow. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Put him. Okay, there you are. All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> then there's more. That's not it. I mean, they really went to town on the photographs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mama, close your eyes. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm sorry. <laughs> mama, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Did you know they were taking these pictures when you had your pants on? <laughs> <laughs> I consented for this one. This, they had my approval. Are you now wearing Calvin Klein underwear at all times? I mean, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. You do? Yeah, okay, yeah, good. Do. Do you have to? Did they say, hey, by the way, you now have to wear Calvin Klein underwear? No, but they're actually extremely comfortable. They're okay. Actually, they're actually pretty good. They're pretty good. When you're doing a shoot, like an underwear shoot, which yeah. is what this is, you know, you're selling the underwear. I'm supposed, I guess I'm supposed to be trying mine going like, <laughs> hey, I, I'd like to look like that in my underwear. <laughs> but the reality is, is it's never going to happen. But do you... Do you have, like, um, like, do you make sure, like, the room's warm and, like... <laughs> You know, there's a good I mean, amount of blood it's, flow. It's a, it's, a, it's a close set, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's good to get a good pump right before okay, you go, okay. you know what I'm right, saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the muscles, the muscles. Yeah, the muscles, you know, of muscles, course. You know All I mean? the it's muscles. Good, it's good. It's good. These, these images live forever. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan is here. His movie, Creed 3. Friday. We'll be right back. I'm in my home, bro. You met my family. I put money up for you. Put the gloves on your hands oh, like right, you asked. That's enough, Philly. <laughs> you, you put the gloves on my hands? Oh, homie. <laughs> you must be punchy. Because <laughs> if memory serves, you used to carry my gloves. Get your <laughs> and get out the gym. That is Michael B. Jordan and a very scary Jonathan Majors in Creed 3. It opens in theaters Friday.
He's, um, now, is it strange to have a guy that you essentially cast and mm. uh, probably befriended over the course of the movie, and then you guys have to you know, play uh, a nemesis, you have to hit, and you have to hit each other? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's actually better that we like each other and we're actually friends because we know we're not going to take anything personally. I mean, I think if we would have went into yeah. it and, like, we haven't been cool, and maybe, you know... A punch might have slipped a few more times, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah but no, yeah. no. But, but he's a great guy, you know, a wonderful actor. Yeah. Uh, really brought a depth and a, la a layer of complexity to the character that you just needed to match the, the, the depth of Adonis. You know, you needed to be challenged in a real way, but he did it perfectly, and, uh, you know, it was, it was a great time. Was there ever a moment where one of you r hit the other and actually, like, you got annoyed by it? Not really annoyed by it, but we, we I, I think we got hit, but we used it in the context of the moment. You know what I'm saying? So, like, one thing when we're boxing, you know, we know the choreo, but when you get tired, sometimes you slip you left, you're supposed to go right, you know, he's throwing a left punch, and then he, he ends up, like, rocking you. But then you just play it off, because you don't want to blow a take, you know, because you got so many good things in there. So you just kind of roll with the punches. Especially when you're the one calling cut, right? <laughs> exactly. You know, when you're exactly. The one having to yell action. And it's so much fun to be in there and actually boxing and directing at the same time, because you kind of cut out the middlemen of the director. So anything that I'm, I'm, and I'm watching the scene unfold. You are. So if I while want. While you're doing it. Well, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So if I want to continue and without, you know, cutting the pace and like, you know, stopping the action, I could just keep it going. And it just, it worked out. It, it was way more efficient. Have you ever seen those um, uh, online, they ask the celebrities the most Googled questions about them? I have seen something like that, yes. Well, we have found, um, and this took a long time, <laughs> the least searched questions about the Michael B. Jordan. Okay. And right, I wonder if you might answer a few of these. Let's do it. Um, does Michael B. Jordan love Winnipeg? <laughs> I don't not love Winnipeg. Is Michael B. Jordan a certified notary public? No, no, he's not. Which part of the Macarena does Michael B. Jordan like the most? The song is very catchy. Okay. It's a catchy jingle. What are three pets Michael B. Jordan would eat to survive? Ooh. Uh, three pets would eat to survive. Uh, a, ooh, a bird. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say, um, ooh. I can't dog. I can't do a dog. No, dog's no. tough. I, mean, I don't know. What's some, give me some more pets. Gerbil, hamster, maybe. Maybe, maybe just do a, a little hamster. Little cool, hamster. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, hamster and cheese sandwich. And big goldfish. And a goldfish. Yes. Okay. Yes. Does Michael B. Jordan ever stare at the moon and wonder who else is looking at it too? I have. You have. I have. I've, I've, I've done that before. One more. That doesn't make me weird, does it? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Cool. Is Michael B. Jordan afraid of clowns? No. No. Okay, good. Right. A lot of people are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the moment. That would be the moment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're assuming we think ahead, which we do not. <laughs> <laughs> so this you got this big premiere going on. Who's your date? Who was your date to uh, the premiere? I don't, I don't Is that too date. personal a question? No, I mean, I, mean, I know your know mom is gonna be there. Yeah, I mean, but technically that's not, that's not my date. No, no. I, I don't have a date. Well, Basically, would you be willing to take a date from the studio audience here tonight? <laughs> to the deal? Because I'm sure that I'm sure I mean, there are many single ladies that'd be interested. I mean, that would be cool. I mean, I have a better idea. How about you know I take everybody to the premiere? <laughs> Room. I can find some room at the theater. All right. Yeah, it's right across the street. You're not going to have to tell a group of cousins that they can't come <laughs> see the movie? <laughs> Trust me, they won't let me hear the end of it. No, we'll, we'll find some room. Excellent. All yeah. right. Well, listen, you guys, yeah. we're going to stay to the end of the show. <laughs> Michael, please tell them they have to stay to the end of the show. I don't yes, want yes, them you can't all leave leaving. now. You got to stay at the end of the show. You got to stay at the end of the show. I wouldn't do that to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I got it. you. I got well, you. They probably would. That's <laughs> the thing. Um, yeah, you're all going to go see Creed 3 and all Michael B. Jordan, everybody. We'll be right back with Blake Shelton.